Okay, a new article here has come out from uh, the DNA studies that they have done here on uh, mummies in Egypt and the genome project that they're trying to get uh, finalized through there and their findings and whenever they did. Uh, the header is DNA from mummies show ancient Egyptians had almost no sub-Saharan African genes. Some one part of the part of it that seems extremely surprising. There's a mummy. After a Trying repeatedly to extract it, many scientists were convinced that the hot desert climate and perhaps the chemicals used in mummification destroyed any genetic material long ago. Now a team of ancient DNA specialists has successfully sequenced genomes from 90 ancient Egyptian mummies, and these date from before the Hyksos invasion in the uh, Middle Intermediate period and into the Middle Kingdom on past and through all the way up into Roman times and they wanted to see the difference between all of these. Now, Johannes Krauss, a geneticist at the Max Planck Institute, is quite famous for the science of human history in Jena, Germany, and his team compared the mummies of mitochondrial and nuclear DNA to ancient and modern populations in the Near East and Africa, and they discovered that ancient Egyptians closely resembled ancient and modern Near Eastern populations, especially those in the Levant. What's strangely about that is that the population that is currently now in the Vaunt doesn't match as well as the people that are up in Western Europe. But they don't want to mention that. That's some of the things that Egypt wants to keep out. But other studies have definitely shown this fact. And you can see a lot of the blonde and red-haired mummies and things that aren't evident, along with blue eyes, that are shown all throughout the... Uh, statuary and even art that they show at the time. Now what's more, the genetics of the mummies remain remarkably consistent even as different powers conquered the empire, as I was telling you before. Uh, different people coming through in the Acadians and so on and they're saying this is all pretty much the same. Showing you that even those people that conquered him were all pretty much the same as them. They weren't some weird left off field shoot type of thing as some have often thought or perhaps even negroids, which this proves that to be false. Scientists successfully sequenced DNA from mummies from the site at Absur el Melek, one of which was buried in this sarcophagus above there. Beautifully adorned. Later, however, something did alter the genomes of the Egyptians, Krauss notes. Although the mummies contain almost no DNA from sub-Saharan Africa, some 15 to 20 percent of the modern Egyptians' mitochondrial DNA reflects sub Saharan Af Africa ancestry. Sorry. And uh, that would have been from females. It is. Uh, later, however, something did alter the genomes of Egyptians, notes Krauss. Although the mummies contain almost no DNA from sub Saharan Africa, some 15 to 20 percent of modern Egyptians' mitochondrial DNA from the women reflects sub Saharan ancestry. He says it's really unexpected that we see this very late shift, Krauss says. He uh, suspects increased trade along the Nile, including the slave trade and or spread of Islam and the Moors in the Middle Ages, may have intensified contact between northern and sub-Saharan Africans and the people that live there currently today that have less than a 1% match with the Egyptians that they tested. And this is another thing they don't want to quite come out. Now this is where the studies are at and the yellow dots that you're seeing uh, here, here, and here are areas that they have the later dates from and more modern dates from. All the black dots are city. Cairo itself is marked with red and this is the burial ground in Fayum, or near Fayum, where they had gotten them from. They're showing you here, right? It's an ancient burial ground that they have. Again, there we are in Africa. And so it's quite interesting. You know, the map of Egypt depicting the location, it says it's Absar el Melek. Orange is the location of the, loca of the uh, newer places. So quite interesting, uh, right in the face of all the black people who were obviously from West Africa and have no connection to these people whatsoever, 
um, of course, denoting that uh, they were the Egyptians somehow and things whenever DNA says, no, that's not true at all. In fact, here's quite the oddity here. They're seeing through the genetics and it shows you a continuity that shows you that all these people in primordial times were all one kind of set race that didn't have much variance between them at all. Like, share, and subscribe, guys, and enjoy. Peace.